Hey, what's up, guys? This is Joel Benavides coming in uh, for uh, Block Squawk, the Block Squawk podcast on this 43rd episode of Block Squawk. It's 3.31 p.m. Uh, here in San Antonio Central Standard Time, and uh, Universal Time is at 20.31, so uh, a couple of hours left in the Universal Day. Uh, it's the 18th of March, and we're going to take a look at uh, coin market capitalization, uh, price movement on the chart, and then get out of here and just checking in with you guys for the daily uh, so, uh, let's get started. Um, so, uh, I, I, I promised you guys that I was going to take a look at, uh, empowered coin because we saw that 5 million percent growth or whatever. And it was sharing that 15 spot with empower coin, the 15th spot on the, uh, on coin market capitalization. It's actually 14th, but, and I looked this up and I couldn't really find anything like obvious news sources on it. But what I, what I suspect is happening is it's kind of like a temporary thing. I mean, the 24 hour trade volume isn't even being updated unless it's being traded at five hundred and eighty nine dollars even for like the last four days. So uh, something is definitely going on. It's odd. Uh, but as far as like the five million percent, well, the price is like well below uh, a penny it's like uh, 0. 0.00071 cents so 5 million percent growth over the last seven days uh, equaling that minute am amount just means that the price was incredibly small and probably a small number of investors threw a big chunk of change at it and uh, along with 8.7 trillion tokens in circulating supply i mean it's just a matter of math i went ahead and i i did it i, I divided the 619 million market cap uh by the 8.7 trillion in power coins and so i came up with that and then i subtracted the five million percent and it's a it's a minute amount but what i don't understand is 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 why the the 24-hour trade volume hasn't changed over the, like the last four days so, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll skip over that during, uh, the squawk, uh, the crypto 20 squawk and, uh, and then we'll jump over here to the chart. So without further ado, let's, um, let's, uh, start with the squawk. We're starting at 20 today and coming in at 20 is, uh, NEM by the symbol XEM, XEM, sorry, uh, that's trading uh, or that's in the 20th place by market cap trading at 4.9 cents. It's down 2.06 points or percentage points on the day and up 12 points for the week. And uh, 24 hour traded volume on them guys was one or sorry, 15.4 million. That's the format that we're going to go with. Uh, we're going to go a little bit faster uh, through the remaining 19 and then uh, check out news in the chart. So Ethereum Classic ETC in at 19 trading at 4 and 46 down a quarter of a point for the day up 4.52 points on the week. 24 hour traded volume 398.3 million. Ontology ONT in at 18 trading at 1 and 9 down 2.84 points on the day up 19.89 points on the week. 24 hour traded volume 115.3 million. NEO by the same symbol in at 17 trading at 9 and 26. That's down 1.47 points on the day up 6. Point one six points on the week. Twenty-four hour trade volume three hundred eighty-nine point one million. Maker MKR in its sixteenth trading at six ninety-three and thirty-six, down zero point four six points on the day, up five point eight four points on the week. Twenty-four hour trade volume one point five million. Skipping over and power to the, tr uh, the uh, dash in the fifteenth spot. Uh, by the same symbol, 92.5 is the traded price, and that's down 0 0.95 points on the day, up 11.17 points on the week. 24-hour traded volume, 242.8 million iota by the symbol myota in the 14th, trading at 29.5 cents. That's down 1.36 points on the day, up 6.12 points on the week. 24-hour traded volume, 20.7 million. Monero XMR in at 13, trading at 53 and 58. Uh, flat for the day and 6.97 points up for the week. 24-hour traded volume, 121 million uh bsv in at 12 trading at 67 and 11 or 67 uh dollars and 11 cents that's down 2.54 points on the day up 2.65 points of the week 24 hour trade volume 193.8 million and cardano ada in an in at 11th by market cap trading a, uh, a nickel down 0 0.8 percent on the day and up 6.56 points on the week 24 hour trade of volume 34.9 million and as we move into the top 10 guys uh just stand by for a second uh because i am gonna jump us over that track i'm not a huge fan of that track i actually need to get it out 
of the mix. Uh, let's just put something cool on. I need a flow. That one's all right, I guess. Nice and chill. All right, uh, so uh, jumping back to uh, the top 10, let's take a look at it. So uh, Tron steady in the 10th spot uh, by the symbol TRX, trading at 2.2 cents. That's down 1.58 points on the day, up 3.06 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 170.1 million. Tether USDT in at 9, trading at 101, down 0 0.17 points on the day, or I'm sorry, up 0 0.17 points on the day, up 0 0.36 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 8.5 billion. Stellar XLM in an eighth, trading at 11 cents. That's up 4.32% on the day. New numbers, by the way, guys, 12.72% on the week in the green. Uh, 24 hour trade volume was 203.8 million. Binance Coin BNB in at seventh, trading at 15 and 65, down 1.41 points on the day, up 7.67 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 133.1 million. Uh, Bitcoin Cash BCH in at six, trading at 162 and 33, up 2.83 points on the day, up 25.35 points on the week, 24 hour trade of volume 630.2 million. EOS by the same symbol in at fifth, trading at three and three quarter, uh, or I'm sorry, three dollars uh, and 74 cents. That's down 1.37 points on the day and up 4.4 points on the week. 24 hour trade of volume was 1.4 billion. Litecoin LTC in at fourth, trading at 16 and 32, down two points for the day, up nine points for the week. 24 hour trade of volume was 1.9 billion. XRP in at third, trading at 31 and a half cents. That's down 0 0.83 points on the day, up 1.59 points on the week. And 24 hour trade of volume was 669.3 million. Ethereum ETH in at second, trading at 139 and 47, down 0 0.88 points on the day, up 4.25 or 4, point a quarter, uh, 4 points in a quarter for the week. 24 hour trade of volume was 4.4 billion and lastly of course bitcoin btc in at first trading at 4030 and 43 cents that's down 0 0.2 points on the day up 3.37 points on the week and 24 hour trade of volume was 9.4 billion and that's going to do it for the coin market cap readout we're moving into the news now guys moving into the news um i use crypto panic to aggregate the news and, and today uh per the per the uh recent norm we're only going to really be doing the last 24 hours of trending stories just to get it knocked out of the way. So uh, two hours ago from CryptoBriefing.com, it says breaking, IBM signs six banks for Stellar-based WorldWire. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, I, I know that there's a lot of XRP uh, diehards out there. And uh, I just never, I don't know. It's, it's more like a sentimental thing. Um, full disclosure i haven't like torn apart like the xrp i mean the xrp or the uh stellar white paper um uh, but from you know circumstantial information that i've gathered i just kind of like um uh, what i hear about stellar a little bit better four hours ago from two sources including cointelegraph.com six global banks sign up to issue stable coins on ibm's now live blockchain network uh, four hours ago from uh, the Bitcoinist.com, Visa hiring blockchain expert for Visa Crypto. I uh, got a couple of friends I need to pass that along to. Four hours ago from CryptoPotato.com, uh, Quadriga CX scandal effects. Canada proposes a ban on cryptocurrency short selling and margin trading. I think that would be a mistake. Um, I think uh, I think and you know that's obviously gonna uh, stifle fair trade and and, and free trade uh, short selling and margin trading if um, if you know what you're doing can be like incredibly profitable and if you're managing your risk I mean why are you gonna you know uh, uh, punish the market uh, so long as I, I don't know what's going on with quadriga CX I don't know do you know hit me up on Twitter let me know um, but, uh, I, I mean, I guess because Quadriga CX is a little further down on the market cap ranking, so I haven't paid attention, but I imagine it has something to do with short selling and, and margin trading. Maybe we'll take a look at it after we, we, we do the charts or I'll come back and, and hit that. Cause that's, that's fascinating to me. Um, and, uh, let's see five hours ago from coindesk.com, IBM science. Okay. So we're getting like multiple sources on the IBM stellar story guys. Um, uh, okay, I guess I have to give equal time to XRP. Um, five hours ago from CryptoGlobe.com, fintech startup together lets you spend your XRP anywhere that accepts Visa. So it's happening, guys. Like, I mean, 
despite what I said on on XRP a moment ago, like crypto is taking hold, you know, and it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be quiet at first. You know, most people will not realize it. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's going to be like it's going to feel to some people. I think it's probably going to feel like one minute to the next, like their their dollars ended up getting transferred, you know, over blockchain markets. And uh, I mean, most people might not even I don't know. I mean, might not even know what happens. That's that's a theory, uh, but um, it seems like it's already happening. Uh, and uh, 24 hours ago, love it or hate it, Justin Sun's Tron is winning the Deep Dap War. Yeah, we talked about that a little bit yesterday. So uh, with the news out of the way, uh, let's let us take a look at the chart and see what's been going on with Bitcoin. Now, I don't have to waste a whole lot of time on this today because we've been covering uh, the Bitcoin chart on Coinbase extensively over the last few days, uh, mainly because of what's been going on here. You know, we had this kind of like triangular for formation and there was kind of like a, like a sort of consolidation within that triangle and then we broke out to the upside. Broke out to the upside and then we hit um, uh, this uh, line of resistance within this pitchfork and kind of started coming down um, in a sort of like a bull flag formation drifted out of that formation and then started hitting the resistance that was set by this bull pull initially right right here at this level at like uh, 4010 um, so we're still keeping an eye on that as soon as we hit that that wall that line of resistance uh, we we came back down and so I think that if we insert a, a level of support right here at uh, what's, what's this price? Because this is going to be a significant price, guys. Thirty nine forty two, um, and that that was that was established during this. So this may be our our uh, range of consolidation that I was talking about uh, earlier in the week. I said that we we're going to come up here, and we would probably begin to consolidate and then break out. And based off of the wicks that we were seeing within the consolidation, uh, I would um, take a guess at which direction we were going to. I don't want to say prediction; I, that that's a dirty word to me. But uh, you know, I would I would be um, uh, leaning my 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 risk management to one side or the other. Uh, and so I think that. Uh, this may be at least an initial level that we could be looking at for support at 39.40, and then uh, as far as resistance goes at 4,010. So we'll wait and see how how long it takes for us to bounce in and out of this level. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this line of of potential resistance that I had drawn earlier. Let's get rid of that, and uh, and let's get let's get rid of this too. I don't really need this right now. Uh, so uh, just to keep the, the chart a little clean because it was getting kind of wild there for a minute So uh, we didn't break out from this what looked like it may have been a bull flag. I think we are moving into uh, a rectangular platform type setup, which is uh, what I had mentioned um, Initially, so we're gonna continue to look at that and uh, And that's really all I wanted to convey to you guys today um, We're here and uh, and that's the range we're looking at and so I will be um, as always monitoring the charts and if anything out of the ordinary happens I'll announce something on Twitter that's why um, you should uh, in addition to following me on Twitter and subscribing on YouTube twitch and anchor Spotify etc is hit that note that post notification bell because that'll notify you as soon as I come on uh, so you can get the most recent and up-to-date information as you can uh, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out here because I know I set this up and I'm not gonna put it right there in fact yeah guys this with with this with this new line of support that that I just drew this could I mean we could just bounce back up to like 40 40 within the next hour or two. I mean, it might be happening right now because uh, there's a strong candle in process right now. So a strong hourly candle. We're looking at the, at the hourly chart, by the way, here, guys. So, um, but we'll keep an eye on it and come back if you need anything. As always, uh, Block Squawk is listener supported. I'll mention all this on the podcast 
at the very end of the episode. But if you're watching on Twitter, uh, I'll just say it real quick. Uh, uh, Block Squawk is listener supported. So if you head on over to anchor.fm forward slash Block Squawk, uh, there's some uh, support functions that you can reach out to us. And uh, and of course, Twitter. I love I love interacting with you guys on Twitter. So hit me up on Twitter and uh, and we can chat. Um, other than that, uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, it's been about 15 minutes time now, 346 p.m. Uh, 2046 UTC and uh, and we are monitoring mobile and monitoring uh, right now the 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 difference between coinbase and bitfinex is about a hundred bucks as it was yesterday uh, we're at 3972 on coinbase and 4076 on bitfinex so we'll continue to monitor as always and uh, and see you guys soon good luck trading and have a great day cheers <laughs>